Why isn't this over? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's partially not over because there still uh, is at least one lawsuit pending in federal court about North Carolina's handling of anti-discrimination laws, uh, primarily against transgendered persons. Uh, and so that lawsuit continues even though the uh, motivating legislation is now gone. And so uh, what we don't know right now is whether or not that uh, the lawsuit, uh, the federal government, for instance, decides not to defend the position that it did under the Obama administration, and that sort of complicates things for the ACLU and the other parties who brought the lawsuit. But still, it's not completely over yet. It's also not completely over yet because uh, a lot of the uh, left-wing groups that were very much opposed to HB2 were also opposed to the resolution that passed the General Assembly because they say it doesn't go far enough. They wanted the General Assembly not only to repeal HB2, but also to, to implement a law statewide that would guarantee all of the anti-discrimination, civil rights, set-asides, uh, facilities changes, and things like that, that Charlotte had put into its a local ordinance that was uh, effectively repealed by HB2. Anybody happy with this? Uh, the business community is fairly happy with it. Uh, the The General Assembly leadership is very happy with it because they're glad to have it off their off their plate now and not have to deal with it anymore. I think most of the sports organizations and and uh, and boosters of these uh, of, of sports teams and people who operate facilities that were having events that were uh, rescheduled. Uh, allegedly because of HB2 are happy to get those events back now or at least to be able to bid for them again. They couldn't even bid for these events as long as these bans were in effect.